Good afternoon, folks. We've been getting a lot of questions about how the sun could possibly unlock the crust, affect Earth's rotation in the Great Disaster. Well, let's start with Emmanuel Velikovsky. It's a little bit difficult to, uh, to go back and to say, well, the story is not exactly so. We have the phenomena from all places, from the bottom of the sea with ash and with nickel, which is of meteoric origin. The terrestrial axis moved. And that pale paleomagnetism proves us that terrestrial axis, that magnetic axis, and possibly like Ankan and other of Manchester claim that it, the earth turned over. We know now from observation of Professor Danjon, director of Paris Observatory, that, that um, flares on the sun may influence the speed of rotation of the earth and there were sudden changes. We generally don't like to know that we are traveling on a accident prone planet. Yes, folks, the science goes back a long way. The theoretical proofs of the sun's ability to change Earth's rotation go back to the early 1900s, with the latter first half of the 1900s bringing the first observations of solar influence on the rotation speed of the Earth. For decades, scientists proved it over and over again, but in large part, nobody really listened, and in some cases, it was covered up. But in the age of information now, that becomes a bit more challenging. I can only show a handful of these, but there are dozens. From solar cycle forcing of known cycles of change in Earth's rotation speed to individual solar events being able to impact significant changes. The role of the cosmos in our length of day, the actual length of an Earth rotation, 24 hours, has been quietly kept alive in science knowledge on the fringe of awareness among most scientists. If you do read one paper on this topic, read this one. It's my favorite from 2020. In the 1980s, the ability to measure down to microseconds of Earth's rotation was nearly perfected, and in 2003, the great Halloween solar storms created a nearly unthinkable glitch in Earth's rotation speed. The change was short-lived, but it implied a momentary control, complete control, of crustal dynamics by the electromagnetic jolt from the sun. It wasn't that surprising to scientists who study this, since the only other times anything close to it had been seen was during strong geomagnetic jerks from the Earth's core. But here is where the extreme solar events come in, ones we haven't seen in thousands of years, when the solar cycle and individual superstorms like 2003 can create such noticeable changes in the length of a day, Earth's rotation. Imagine what a solar superflare 500 times larger could do to the crust, or the solar micronova. 5,000 times stronger. I do realize this is one of the harder concepts in the disaster cycle to wrap your head around, but it's real, proven science. Now please, please, do the homework listed below the video. It's going to answer your questions. It's going to give you the rest of the evidence that past solar blasts have indeed rocked our planet's crust and rotation. It will break down a whole lot more than that as well. If you've been waiting to catch up and become one of the 0.1% most knowledgeable people about the disaster cycle, the time for waiting has ended. The rest of us are preparing and putting on our gear. Gear up with the rest of us. I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.